Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I really think like the only person who can fully express how I'm feeling right now would be Miss Celine Dion, so. Hi everyone. Well, here we are again and I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we are back. It's another book haul. It's the end of February. It's technically February 26th, so I have two more days left. And I don't think I'm getting them. Well, I can't say I'm not getting any more books because that's a lie. But I have two more books coming in the mail. <laughs> but I, went, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now to get it out of the way. So this is February's book haul. There are 28 days in February, but I've got like 30 some books. So can you tell me how that works mathematically? It doesn't. It doesn't. That means I bought more books than their wired days. But it was also Valentine's Day and I was my own Valentine. So she treated herself. Okay, if there was ever a time to treat yourself, it's Valentine's Day. So that's what I did. There's no rhyme or reason for the order of these books. I'm just going to go with whatever's in front of me at the time. So let's just get into another monthly big old book haul. Okay. So we're going to start with the books that I got at Walmart the other day because there were three of them and Walmart's been doing such a good job at getting books in that would normally never be there. Um, but also that's because a lot of indie authors are now getting published by like big book houses. So that makes sense. Um, but the ones that I got at Walmart was Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey, which is her newest, I think I'm pretty sure this is her newest book. And I, okay. So if you're new here, hi, hello. Um, <laughs> we never know what the books are about. Like I, I never know a lot of the time what my books are about that I buy. Oh Lord. Again, nothing new, nothing changed. It's either hype or it's just like pure, I like Tessa Bailey. So I went ahead and bought her next book because I liked her other ones. That's usually how it works. It's either hype or the book looks interesting and I'm just going to get it. So starting off we're starting off strong with a book that I don't know what it's about but it's okay I think this is like technically like a curvier female heroine I think so that's nice but I couldn't tell you what else is about this book but the cover the cover had me it's pink it's so cute the pink and the red it's perfect for Valentine's Day which already happened but that's okay you know pink's good for any time of the year and then I bought myself the last book in the Dreamland Billionaire series, which is Final Offer by Lauren Asher. So this is the third book in the Dreamland Billionaire series, which are basically about these three brothers who have to each do something in order to like gain an inheritance from, from like their grandfather. So this one, if I'm not mistaken, has to do with, I can't remember his name, but he has to sell this house that's on the cover. And there's going to be like some animosity because the girl that he will probably eventually end up being with has a connection to the house or something like that. It's fine. It's fine. And then the last one that I got at Walmart was Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score. And it's got an ugly book club sticker on it. So we're just going to pretend we don't see that ugly sticker because it'll be coming off very soon. But this is the second book in the knockout or knockdown series knockout knockout series so the first one was things we never got over and then there's this one I haven't read the first one but it's okay we know this by now we just I don't read as fast as I buy books and buying books and reading books are two different hobbies so I will eventually get to it but I haven't heard very many people talk about this because it is still relatively a newer release so we'll see how I enjoy this series and then one day after work, I stopped at my mall and I went to BAM and they had like a buy two, get one free. So I ended up getting eight books. But let me explain. Let me explain myself. Um, <laughs> so I got the buy two and then the one free I got from my dad. And then I just went hog wild with the other books in the romance section. And then as I was leaving, out of the corner of my eye, I see spicy TikTok books in out of it, like an end cap, and I stopped. And I'm like, what, hold your horses, hold your horses. You can't just bypass all those. So I didn't, and I got them. Uh, um, starting with the, I think this is the new Camelot series. 
a Sierra Simone. I could be totally wrong. Um, but it's American Queen, American Prince, and American King. Couldn't tell you. I don't know if this is like a president or not. President, yes. Okay, so it does have something to do with like president of the United States. But I haven't read Sierra Simone, but I see these books everywhere and people really tend to like them. So I thought I'd give it a shot and just go ahead and buy the whole series. Because that makes sense, you know, if I don't like this one, you listen, we we just don't, we don't, just let me live my life, okay? I, I <laughs> But I do like this vines because it's red, white, and blue. Blue, red, and white. Well, that's going to bug me. It should be red, white, and blue. Oh, well, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> and then I ended up getting, <gasps> what the frick? happened to my book it's folded why is that folded on <gasps> I didn't even notice this at the uh, okay oh wait is it supposed to be like that wait no it's not did they cut my book when they cut open the box okay I don't know I'm having a meltdown if you have bought this book which is twisted um by Emily McIntyre tell me is there like marks on your book? Because I have these raised marks and I can't tell if it's like supposed to be that way because like the diamond on the cover or if it like when they were opening book boxes, they scraped it. And I'm getting the feeling they scraped it. Anyway, sorry, just having a meltdown. The, this book is the fourth in the Never After series. And this one follows Jafar and... um. Jasmine. These are loosely like retellings of favorite stories, not necessarily Disney stories, but just like stories you were told when you were younger. And this is where the the villain of the story gets their happily ever after. So I got that. And now I'm upset because I didn't inspect it as good as I should have. And then I got myself The Dark King by Gina L. Maxwell, only because I hear and I read on the cover that it's like Fifty Shades meets Neon Gods. And that's all I need to know. That was all I needed to know. Plus it's like, he's a fae. So like I'm getting like Akatar also. But Neon Gods, Fifty Shades of Grey, you had me. And then these are the two that I got for free. Well, I know I didn't, but I bought these two. My dad got his book for free. But I got two Mia Sheridan books. I got More Than Words and Most of All You. And I don't know if these are, if this is a series. I don't know. And I've never read any of her other books. Um, I own, what's that book called? It's right here. What's it called? Oh my gosh, what is it called? It's about the guy and he's mute and he can't talk. What's the book called? Archer. I'm pretty sure it's called Archer's, Archer's Voice. Yeah, I haven't read it, but I own it. And now I have these, like I said, I don't know what those are about. And then I got myself Forever and Never by Lucy Score. I just thought the cover was beautiful and I'd never heard it. I've never heard anyone talk about this one. So I'm like, I'm just gonna pick it up. So I did. That's my reasoning behind a lot of things. <laughs> pick it up. And then, okay, so the next pile are mostly from Pango Books. Like I talked about this in my last book haul, but um, that Pango Books, it, it, it takes me and it's just like, buy it. Just click it, click it, click, and it's done. And then it comes to your house. And now I have no space for any of my other books because I'm just buying from Pango Books. But uh, it's, it's fine. But I ended up getting What He Doesn't Know by Candy Steiner. So now I own all of them. Because last month I talked about how I bought books two and three and I didn't have one. So I went ahead and bought one from Amazon just so I'd have it. Um, but I'm pretty sure this has like, I don't know what these are about. It doesn't matter. Like Candy Steiner can write whatever and I'd read it. So I just went ahead and bought it. And then I did end up getting The Witch and Wisdom of Bridgerton, Lady Whistledown's official guide. Just because I, I like Bridgerton, so... And it gives you just a little bit about each Bridgerton sibling. So it starts with Anthony and works its way down to the youngest Bridgerton. So I thought it was cute. The cover was cute. So went ahead and got that. I did get myself a thriller. There are like a few thrillers in here. And this one is Five Survive by Holly Jackson, which is the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, 
which is a really good thriller if you're like just starting off and you don't like really read thrillers very often but you're intrigued by it it is YA but it's still like interesting enough that could keep like pique your interest you know so if you're ever looking for thrillers to start off with I would start with that one but I don't know what this one's about I just went ahead and got it because I liked her other books which is basically how I buy all my books and then I was gifted at this one it's Feels Like Love by Jenna Hartley and this is the first in the series of these books I don't know what it's about but he is very cute so that's fine mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's a romance I just don't know like of what trope it is let me see he's secretly in love with his best friend's little sister oh my gosh say less so cute okay now I'm even more intrigued and then I was also gifted Forget Me Not by QB Tyler. I'm like starting my little QB Tyler uh, collection. So I have this one and I have another one here that I bought myself. But this one is, I know it's based on cheating. And this has like the amnesia trope because something happens to where he gets in an accident and he wakes up and he doesn't remember that he was cheating on his wife. And he has to like try to get her to fall in love with him again because he's still madly in love with her. I don't know. It sounds good. It sounds angsty. And it sounds like it's going to tear my heart in two. So sounds like a good time to me. And then I went and got myself the rest of the I'm missing one. Hold on. Okay. So you guys are going to be so proud of me. So in Jan, no, in February, in February, I read Irresistible by Melanie Harlow, which was the first in the Cloverleaf Farm series. Stop it. Like, I know it, it blows my mind too because it was like on my tbr for months i don't want to talk about it but as i was looking on to buy the other books i noticed that amazon was like well you can only get this book in the special cover and i didn't want the special cover because i had already bought in the first book with the people on the cover so i had to do some digging but i went ahead and bought the rest of the series with all the people on the cover so we have undeniable which i think is the next one and then insatiable and then unbreakable and unforgettable i think that's how it goes i could be wrong i think i am wrong i think it is insatiable next oh i don't remember it's fine but i loved the first one so i just i knew i had to get the other one so now i have them and i can finish the series which will probably take me another i don't know how many years it's fine <laughs> It's fine. I then got in the mail Radiant Sin by Katie Robert because this was a pre-order. Um, I always pre-order every one of her Dark Olympus books because it always comes with artwork. Is that one? What is on? <laughs> that was a sticker. I'm like, what is that? Okay. The artwork of the two people in the story. And it's also signed. But I just... So there's this one. I don't even know what these two people, who's the, who are these two people? Apollo and who else? Why do I feel like there's three? Is this just Apollo? Cassandra and Apollo. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to read it and enjoy it. And then I got myself the uh, Falling for Whiskey duology. So it is, I can't remember which one's first. I think it's Whiskey Lies, which is book one. And then Loving Whiskey, which is book two. But I've been hearing great things by, you know people who read this book and people that have read Brittany Nicole before. So I'm excited. I didn't know like this one was going to be so huge though. Like this one's, I mean, it's only a little bit bigger, but like books intimidate me when they're really big and I wish they were matte. That's another thing, but it's okay. I'll survive. Um, I really don't know much about these. I started reading the first one on my Kindle and I only got like two chapters in, but I do know it's like dual point of view from like him and her. And that's all I know really. I can't remember. It's okay. You don't come to hear what the books are about from my channel. It's fine. Um, then I got myself For Love and Honey by Stacey Hart, which I have the original, but now I also have the special edition copy, which has like the gold foiling, which I just really wanted. I just think the whole cover is stunning. That screams fall to me and it's winter right now. So I'm like, I'm, I'm vibing with this and I wish it was this outside, but you know. And then I do have another thriller. I think that's the only other thriller I have. Nope, I lied. Two more thrillers. We've got Notes on an Execution by Danya or Dania Kukovka. I said that wrong, but that's okay. 
And then my book of the month was The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. I don't know if this one's about. It's a thriller and it's, it's, it's fine. I just, I don't like to know what thriller is really going in because it, a lot of times synopsis will spoil it. Um, this one I know is about, there's a guy on death row and the different chapters are different points of view of people that he has affected in his life, whether it be like people he knew or like victims, family uh, members of victims. But a lot of people say it's really good. So I'll be excited to read this one. I then got myself Flawless by Elsie Silver because I just, I figured I needed to have it. <laughs> um, this book is everywhere. The series is everywhere and I've yet to read it. It's fine. I'm working my way through her first one anyway, like her first series, the Gold Rush Ranch series. So like I'll get to this one eventually, but I just, I wanted to have it in my possession before like they decided to change the covers and I could never get them because I do like the people on the cover more than the other ones. But I think I am like in the minority there. I then have a Sacrifice by Adriana Locke and I can't remember what this one is about. I feel like, yeah, yes, okay. So this girl, um, she loses her husband and she, like she's down on her luck. She's raising her daughter and she looks for help in her brother and her husband's brother. So it's like her brother-in-law. So it's a little taboo, but also it's like, it's okay because he died. That's really, that's morally morbose. That, that's really terrible that I said that. Um, but I didn't write it. You know, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy it. So it's fine. I then I got myself Love Unexpected by QB Tyler, which is another taboo stepfather, stepdaughter romance. Like, I really don't need to say anything else because that, that pretty much says it for you. It's, it's taboo and they're gonna, they're gonna do things. <laughs> and then I got Beneath the Stars by Emily McIntyre, which is book one in the Sugar Lake series. I don't know what the series is about, but I think this is one of her first series she'd ever written and she wishes more people would go back and read them and I was like Emily say less say less like I got your back I'm going to go back and read it plus the cover just shut up the cover is stunning that oh so beautiful and I think it's a small town romance and then we've got Only Ever Us by J.H. Croy which is I think book three in the Light My Fire series um but this is a firefighter series um and that's all I know because I have I haven't technically read the books yet, but I have books one through three. So when I want to, I can just binge them. But that's all I really know. I think it's small town also. But again, the covers. I just wish it was matte. I, there's just something about a matte cover. And then we well, you've seen this already, but I have to talk about it. I got myself The Choice by Ashley Jade because I read this in January and I loved it. And I had to have the physical copy. But this, oh my, guys, like I loved this so much. If you read the words by Ashley Jade, go back and read this because you're going to love it. This follows Skylar and Memphis from the side characters in, what's, this, what's her name, Skylar? <laughs> yes, it was Skylar. Whew, okay, it's fine. I, remembering details is another one of my strong points, apparently. Um, but yeah, so you do get to see Memphis. What's the, the guy's name? That's, that's the biggest like douche ever. What is his name? What is his name? Hold please while I sit here and get upset again by him. Josh, mother, Josh, that was his name. That's who, <laughs> if you hated Josh in the words for like just being a person, you're going to hate Josh in this one. And that's all I'm going to say because you will. And then I got the first book in the Eden series, which is Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. Again, I've never read anything by Devney Perry, but I figured that I would want to start. So I went ahead and got myself the first book in that series. And then the last book for this book haul, goodness gracious, is Letters to Molly by Devney Perry. I didn't even realize this was by Devney Perry. That's cool. I ended up with Devney Perry. That's awesome. Um, Letters to Molly by Devony Perry. So again, I don't know what this book's about. It's, it's a theme. It's a theme and I'm going with it. I am nothing but themed and stick to my consistency. But those are all the books that I got in the month of February. Oh, there's two more that's coming tomorrow. I'll just go ahead and tell you them and 
instead of showing you in March. Those are books two and three in the Bound by Blood series by Cora Riley. So I have the first one, which is Bound by Honor. And then I think the next one's like Bound by Blood and Bound by Duty or Bound by Duty. But it's something. I don't know. I have books two and three coming. I got them from Pingo Books. So they are on their way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have read any of these and what were your favorites or what did you think of them and if you don't want to leave me a comment leave me the little stack of books emoji just to let me know that you were here and you stopped by if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new and would like to join the family i would love to have you my social media is linked down below as always my goodreads and my instagram if you'd like to stay more up to date and day to day with what i am reading and i will see you all in the next one bye guys now, now, now we, we must do this crazy thing. We don't like doing these. I don't. And you have, okay, you know what? Let's try this again. Let's put the hard, hard ones down here. Let's get smart with our stacking. Stay. Like you can lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. <laughs> okay, like don't lean. Don't. Oh my. What do you mean? Oh, okay. 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 Whew. The next two piles are majority are are majority. No, Louie, I can't speak today. It's fine. Can you hear that wind? My goodness, it sounds like Dorothy. The twister, the twister.